when you log into Infinity AT for the first time, you're going to see the charts, the scoreboard, which is this window at the top, and then a trading dome or two. If you do close the dome and you'd like to relaunch it, so I'm going to close them just like this, which leaves us with the charts in the background and then the scoreboard here at the top. What you can do is click on the little blue arrow under the D column that corresponds with the contract you want to launch. So for example, if I want to launch the March E-mini S&P ESH6 right here, I could just click on the little blue arrow under the D column that corresponds with that market. If I want to launch another dome, in this example here for February crude oil, I could just push the blue arrow under the D column for that product. If there's a market that is not in your market view that you'd like to add, just select it from the drop-down list. So for example here, I'm selecting ZBH6, which is the March bond contract. Push the little blue plus sign to the right, like that. And that puts it into the market view below, and we can start to see a live feed on it. If you need to make more space for more markets, just stretch the window down a little bit like that, no big deal. And from here, if I want to launch the dome for March bonds, I could just push the little blue arrow under the D column that corresponds with uh, ZBH6, just like that. And up comes the dome. So uh, the domes will, again, launch automatically. When you're done with the program for the day, you don't have to close down each individual window first. Just go right to the scoreboard and X out like this, and it'll ask you if you want to save your configuration. If you say yes, it'll come up just like it was closed. So if you close all the domes first and, and then exit the program, you're going to have to manually relaunch them. In this case, I'm just going to hit cancel so I can stay logged in. And again, if you close down the domes like this and you want to relaunch them, just go to the scoreboard, which is this window here. It's going to have your username and your account number at the top. Push the little blue arrow under the D column that corresponds with each of these markets, and the domes will come up just like that. Okay, thank you.